A romance with a Playboy model and steamy relationships with Secret Service agents? These are some of the most scandalous infidelity rumors that the Trump family can't seem to get away from. Long before Donald Trump entered politics, he was known as a fixture on the New York City social scene. His marriage to his first wife, Ivana Trump, was covered endlessly by the tabloids, who cared even more when it was clear that the marriage was on the outs. It was an open secret that Donald was engaging in an affair with Marla Maples, a relationship that would lead to the downfall of his marriage. To control the narrative, Ivana hired a public relations team. A source told Vanity Fair, "...this is all very calculated. Ivana is very shrewd. It worked, and Donald told Vanity Fair that he understood why the public felt bad for Ivana. He said to the outlet, "...when a man leaves a woman, especially when it was perceived that he has left for a piece of ass, a good one, there are 50% of the population who will love the woman who was left." Donald met adult entertainer Stormy Daniels at a golf tournament, kicking off a relationship that would prove to be one of the most consequential in his lifetime. Days before the 2016 election, long-term fixer Michael Cohen paid Daniels $130,000 not to talk to the press. That illegal hush money payment would ultimately lead the former president to be convicted of 34 felonies, the first former president in American history to earn that distinction. In an interview with CBS, Daniels said she asked Donald about the fact that Melania Trump had just given birth a few months earlier, but he insisted that the relationship was over. She told the outlet, "...he brushed it aside, said, "'Oh yeah, yeah, you know, don't worry about that. We don't even. We have separate rooms and stuff.'" For his part, despite the felony conviction, Donald still denies anything happened. "...I didn't have sex with a porn star." When Trump was elected president, Melania didn't immediately move into the White House to be with him. Instead, she continued to live in Trump Tower in New York City for the first year of the administration. It didn't take long before people online began to speculate about why that was, including novelist Monica Byrne. Byrne claimed on X that Melania was in a relationship with Hank Seamers, head of security at the Tiffany's location in Trump Tower. She wrote in the since-deleted post, "...with DT's knowledge, they had an agreement, written I think, that if DT lost the election, they'd get to forced, but then he won. After recommending that journalists look into her allegations independently, Byrne even tagged the president to get his thoughts on the matter. However, he did not chime in. In 2018, shortly after Vanessa Trump filed for divorce from Donald Trump Jr., Page Six reported on an alleged affair between Donald Trump Jr. and singer Aubrey O'Day. She was a contestant on The Celebrity Apprentice when Don Jr. was involved in the show, and they evidently struck up a relationship on set. Since details about the alleged affair surfaced, O'Day has spoken out about the supposed dalliance multiple times. On former Trump fixer Michael Cohen's podcast, Mea Culpa, O'Day claimed Don Jr. was different back then. She said to Cohen, and you know what a bleeding heart liberal I am. And there's no way that I ever could have loved somebody that uh, we see today." It all fell apart when Don Jr. left his phone out while he took a shower, leading Vanessa to uncover what a source told people were sexy texts. They added, "...this is how Vanessa found out and the affair ended." Stormy Daniels isn't the only adult entertainer that Trump allegedly had an affair with. He's also rumored to have had a relationship with Playboy Playmate Karen McDougal, according to an investigation by Ronan Farrow that was published in The New Yorker. In a handwritten account of the affair obtained by Farrow, McDougal detailed a relationship that was said to have begun after Trump filmed an episode of The Apprentice at the Playboy Mansion in the 2000s. Her story of the alleged affair was purchased days before the 2016 election by American Media Incorporated, a publishing company that manages tabloids like the National Enquirer. Details, however, were never published, which Farrow notes aligns with a strategy called catch and kill. The story did eventually leak, though the White House denied the affair. McDougal regrets the deal. She told The New Yorker, "...it took my rights away. At this point, I feel I can't talk about anything without getting into trouble because I don't know what I'm allowed to talk about. I'm afraid to even mention his name." According to Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist Carol Lindig's book Zero Fail, The Rise and Fall of the Secret Service, multiple members of the Trump family may have had inappropriate relationships with Secret Service agents. That includes Trump Jr.'s ex-wife, Vanessa. Lindig wrote, "...Secret Service agents reported that Vanessa Trump had started dating one of the agents who had been assigned to her family. The former president's youngest daughter, Tiffany Trump, too, allegedly grew very close with the Secret Service agent following a breakup." Lindig wrote, "...in the aftermath, she began 
Sam's spending an unusual amount of time alone with a Secret Service agent on her detail. Service leadership became concerned at how close Tiffany appeared to be getting to the tall, dark, and handsome agent. Ultimately, the agent was reassigned after concerns were raised. However, a Secret Service spokesperson didn't exactly deny the allegations when people contacted them for comment. The spokesperson said, The U.S. Secret Service is aware of an upcoming book which rehashes past challenges the agency overcame and evolved from. Now and throughout its 156-year history, the agency's skilled workforce is dedicated to the successful execution of its critical protective and investigative missions.